Let me show you how to save 100 bucks each month on Enterprise FlightAware account and also have fun doing so. Welcome back. You will need these two main things. First being RTL SDR dongle. This will run you about 30 bucks and yes, get the original one. There is a lot of cheap ones but they are not that good. By the way, all product links are in description below. PCBWay is the place you need for designing and creating your projects. They have it all and for affordable prices. Get your PCBs, PCBAs, CNC or even 3D printing done and shipped worldwide. Make sure to use my referral link linked in description. Also, you can just grab existing community projects like for example these for Flipper Zero. Once again, pcbway.com and my referral link is in description below. Next is Raspberry Pi. I went for Pi Zero 2W for its cost and size. This was about 20 bucks. It is basically a mini computer with HDMI and two USB ports. Oh! and much needed SD card slot. Alright, you will also need micro SD card. I went with Kingston 32GB card. Next is ADSB or 1090MHz antenna. I'll use my own custom antenna that works perfectly even in my car. Video about it is here. Go and check it out. Another thing is USB A to micro USB cable and adapter from USB A female to micro USB male. I made mine by joining two cables. Lastly, RF cable to connect antenna with RTL SDR. This one was included in RTL SDR's package. Cool, so let's start. Grab SD card and shovel it in your computing device. Go to flightaware.com and under ADSB tab click Build Pi Aware ADSB Receiver. Here, Massive Manual. Let me make it easy for you. Scroll down to section 2 and download first image from link. Once downloaded, open Etcher. Select downloaded image and select target. Target is SD card you just inserted earlier. And click flash. Also subscribe. Few moments later Etcher completes flashing and go and reinsert the flashed SD card. Open it and look for pyover-config.txt file. Open it and here I like to choose no on the wired network as I am going Wi-Fi on this project. Speaking of Wi-Fi, here enter your Wi-Fi name and below Wi-Fi password like so. Raspberry Pi computer will detect and connect to your Wi-Fi network based on this info. Save changes and eject SD card. Now insert it in Raspberry Pi. Next I'll connect RTL SDR with Raspberry Pi using my rigged cable. On Pi 02W is second USB port for comms and first for power. All labeled next to the ports. Next I'll connect my DIY 1090 MHz antenna using RF cable with SMA connectors. Like so. And last thing is to provide power with classic old school USB to micro USB cable. Your grandma should still have one of those. Boom, just like this and all should work. Let's check it out. Scroll down to fifth point and click on claim your Pi Aware. You have to create account and wait for your device to be recognized by Flight Aware. Once done, click on your statistics. And here is all about your ADSB feeder and much more. Next, go to flightaware.com forward slash skyaware. Here is interactive map that will show your data. So I'm currently in south of Sicily, just about here. Whoa, got first hit. Probably my antenna needs to go outside for this to work properly. I mean, it is cool that it can receive data indoors as well. Let me quickly chuck it on the roof and run Raspberry Pi on ledge. Here we go, much better, I can even see the plane. Let's click on it. It brings out full information about flight, plane and much more. Next there was a helicopter flying right above me. I speeded it up for better visuals.
Now three aircrafts at the same time. By the way, there's no limit for displaying aircraft. I have seen over 30 different planes when I was back in Central Europe. So yeah, RTL SDR is very powerful and capable device. I will be creating much more with these two devices, so please stay tuned and subscribe. Check PCBWay.com and also if you want to build your own ADSB feeder, check description for product links. Thanks for watching and see you next time.